Big news today, SoRare has just launched its brand new free-to-play Fantasy Premier League mode. If you want to get involved, the first thing you're going to do is click the link in the description and get yourself signed up. That's going to get you a free bonus card once you get involved in the auctions. Literally everything that happens in a football match can affect your player's score on so rare as opposed to FPL, wow. where it's more about those decisive actions like assists, goals and clean sheets. So we'll bear that in mind when we're picking our players. Anyway, let's jump into it and start picking our team. Right, so here we are. We are on the SoRare football side of things. Um, as you can see at the top, you've got kind of like home, market, play, private leagues, etc. What you want to do is head to the play area and you want to find the upcoming. Once you've landed in the upcoming lobby, you want to scroll down. I've got quite a lot on show here because I've got a lot of cards already in the game. But if we go down to the week starting 3rd of Feb, you can see there we are. Premier League Amateur, next to all of those others that we have covered in other videos. Bundesliga, La Liga, Serie A, you can get involved in all of those. But we're going to focus on the Premier League brand new draft. Let's jump into it and pick our team and hopefully we'll be on our way to winning some prizes. Alright, as you can see, a lot of people that you may or may not already recognise. You've essentially got 400 points up here, there's your budget. And the players... Uh, prices are kind of based on their performances over the last 15 games in the Premier League. So you can already see there we've got players like Harry Kane, Mares, Evan Ferguson, Erling Haaland at the top. Now some of these scores might be a little bit inflated or deflated based on current form. Some players might be now injured so maybe they've hit some lower scores or maybe if they just come in as a substitute they haven't hit those big scores that players that start every game do get. I am going to get selecting and I think I would be silly not to put Erling Haaland in my team. So I'm going to get him in there. Um, as a United fan, I think I'm going to have to get my man, Marcus Rashford, in there, who is in peak form right now. Midfield. Um, so as a tip, so rare players do tend to score well in midfield if they are really good defensively as well as in attack. So creative midfielders, very good defensive midfielders are gonna be your ones to check here. A lot of those kind of players that pick up the ball and just pass it sideways are not gonna pick up big scores. Quite similarly to FPL in that sense. I've spent quite a bit on my forwards, so I'm gonna look for some bargains uh, down at the bottom. If we scroll down, the lowest priced card is always 40. So let's have a look at who we've got in that kind of like 40 to 50 range. Joe Willock might be worth a pick there. Phil Foden, I mean, he has been out injured. Um, not expected to be out for too much longer, so he could be worth a look. Players on set pieces are also worth a look. I think I'm going to, I'm tempted by Foden at 45 points. I'm going to put him in. And I am going to go ahead and look at another defender now. Um, you can only pick two players from each team as well. It's important to note. I am going to look to pair a defender. So maybe I'll go for goalkeeper first. Let's have a look at goalkeeper options. See who's giving us some good value. Surprising to see Hugo Lloris all the way down there. I think he's worth a pick up. Maybe not for this weekend, but you can rotate your players through each week. I think you get two swaps each week. So picking him up for 41 points, I think he's going to uh, score better than that. Maybe not this weekend against City, but in future future weeks, his price should rise. And then I can swap him out for something a bit better, maybe. Emilio Martinez against Leicester at home for Villa looks good to me. Uh, so I'm going to pair him with another Villa defender. Tyro Nings, Ashley Young. If you click here, you can have a little look at his stats. Uh, he's been in and out of the side there, obviously coming back from the World Cup. I think Mings is a safe option, look, and he's putting up some big scores there, 87 against Wolves, out of 100 as well. So with his price down at 49, I like the look of that. I think that's good, I'm gonna go with Mings. So now I have 110 points left to fill those midfield and defensive slots. As I've gone for Foden, maybe I am gonna look here at someone who is fit and playing at the moment. I can't pick any more Man City players because I've got Haaland there and Foden. Uh, Bakayo Saka, he likes to get amongst the goals. Maybe he's worth a shout. Odegaard, don't have any Arsenal players in there at the moment. I, do you know what? I am gonna go with Saka. I think that 
Everton is uh, an opportunity for him to score some goals. So I have 49 points left. So I'm going to scroll down, find a player I can afford. Martinez, I like, I'm a big fan of Lissandro Martinez. Maybe I put him in Saliba. I think Saliba is good value for money there. 46 points for him. That leaves me three in the bank. I am going to confirm my draft and that is going to take me to team selection. So this is going to be my team just for the first round of games, which um, I believe is on the weekend upcoming. So I am going to start with Martinez against Leicester in goal. I'm going to pair him up. Let's double him up because then if we get that clean sheet, we are going to get a bit of differential there. Hopefully, you know, that Aston Villa is a little bit of a lesser pick defensive pairing than some of those top six sides at the moment. Uh, Saka, and then I'm going to go with Haaland there. And I think I am going to stick Rashford up top. Man United at home to Palace. Rashford's got a great form at home at the moment, so I'm going to captain him. And that is it. Confirm. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a like and subscribe. Good luck in the Premier League on So Rare, and I hope that you get among the rewards. Make sure you use the link in the description to get your bonus card once you buy your first five at auction. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next video.